Right, so we are trying to get across here and quickly find Tingani because he's heading right towards the cut line between Arethusa and Elephant Plain. So I'm trying to catch up with him through this thicket. So it's Ferrari Safari in snail pace at the moment, which is not very easy at all. So it's really quite dense and it felt like a bit of a rush to get to him. He all of a sudden apparently stood up and just started marching to the west as only Tingana can do. I can see him now in front actually. He's going up towards a termite mound and if he sits on a termite mound with this sunset that we've got, it will be incredible. Look at the color of the on the bonnet alone of the car. It really is quite special to see how bright it is. And I'm just going to turn off my LED so I don't blind somebody because the LED is quite bright. Now I'm going to try and see if I can't get a way through here. So as you can hear for Wendy's day of or afternoon off is gone to the dogs as so to speak. It really is not going to be a pleasant afternoon for Wendy. And he's just walking through the thicket there. So there he goes. You can just see his tail end. So I know it's not the best sighting at the moment, but hopefully he's gonna head somewhere where we'll be able to see him quite nicely. But I'm so excited. Spots in my life again makes me very, very, very happy indeed. So I'm gonna try and just catch up with him, but he seems as though whatever the situation, he is on a serious, serious patrol at the moment. He's going quite quickly. So I don't know if something, he's heard something or maybe he has heard Anderson calling or he's heard some sort of prey animal somewhere in here and that's why he's decided to start marching so quickly. I'm worried that he's going to cross the cut line before we're able to actually see him. Sorry, Craig. So, Craig, the sort of torment on the back is this afternoon. Everywhere. It really is not easy in here, especially when he starts walking at the speed that he's walking. Now, I'm trying to see if I can't find a way around that I can keep up with him from the other side because otherwise we're going to stare at the back of a car all day long, which is not ideal. So careful there, Craig. Hmm. The other problem is the Ellie's seem to have been busy here, so... Wow, it is dense in here. I'm just trying to get through here, but it's proving to be very, very difficult. It's much like it was this morning. As you can see, there's trees and bushes everywhere. Come on, Wendy. There we go. This is very thick, but maybe we can fit through here. Okay, Craig, you're going to have to duck. Hopefully, I can't. don't blind Craig. Oh, that's a tree. As you can see, it's raining leaves now, but... <laughs> We're trying our best to at all. Now I'm trying to just find my way. The elephants have also not made this very easy either. So I have to just be careful here. Yeah? So Craig, can you grab that? Now, it just seems that we're just destined to follow tail in this thicket. It's really just almost impossible to keep up with them at the moment. We're trying our level best, but as you can see, it's not really that easy. I also don't want to really break Wendy too much. She's done such a good job today and she's really had a tough time of it. So I'm trying not to go too fast through this thicket, but it's amazing how quickly a leopard can move when you try and move through a thicket like this. I'm trying to just see where he's gone, but I've lost him. He was somewhere in this thicket, but I've lost where he went. He's moved too fast for us. And this is typical Tingana maneuver. He just goes so quick that you can't actually keep up with him and he loses you in these thickets and once that happens that's the end of it. But I think we might have lost him because I know the other vehicle is asking me if we can see him and I can't see him. Ah, there we go, there he is. So 
So Riti, you're wondering why leopards are always found in tall grasses or thickets. Well, it's because they can camouflage here and a leopard is an ambush predator, which means that if any time it can camouflage is a good time. No, we're not going to be able to go through there. This leopard is giving us an absolute nightmare this evening. And this is when Tingana is like this, sometimes he makes me get very frustrated. Some days he's an absolute champion and he lies right out in the open and you can get to him. And then other days he's like this where we can't actually go anywhere because there's just stumps everywhere and he walks too fast and it becomes an absolute We can get over this. I'm trying to see if we can't get around towards where he is. He's about to cross the cut line, so I don't even know if we're going to be able to catch up to him before he gets there. But I'll try to get one more sort of sight of him. Now, while I do that, let's go back to James and see if he's had any luck with another leopard. That can I don't think we are going to even remotely try. It's also he's crossed the cut line now into Simambili, so we can't keep up with him anyway. But that was horrific. Thanks, Sips. <laughs> So there we go, we're going to just watch him saunter off into the darkness because unfortunately that's as far as we can go. But luckily we got to see him one last time before he disappeared. I'm not sure Wendy is going to be okay from this experience. She may have hit one or two logs on her way. Now I'm going to try and see if I can't just quickly get into the road and just check her out because I think we might have lost the bar to our high left jack, which is not ideal. Poor Wendy. The things we do to her, just to show some animals every now and then, she really does get sort of a bit punished. Now, Tinganas are really so far out of the way that I can actually just quickly jump off now and check if I still have my high lift jack bar, because that's not going to be useful if we don't. Yes, it's still here. Thank goodness for that. Ah, that's why. It's because it's not clipped. There we go. Whew. Craig, you're still alive on the back there. Oh, you are. <laughs> I'm glad that you're okay. I feel like that was a rather traumatic event that we just had. Right, there we go. Now we can just take a breath. What an amazing afternoon. That was craziness. Now, I don't want to do 